Hey guys, welcome back to another Dragon Review. We're taking a look at a German FJ figure today. His name is Erwin Stangenberg, and he was released in 2004. Now this is one of those really hard to find Dragon figures that just hardly shows up anywhere. Um, I've been trying to find him for a very long time, and I finally got him off eBay. I did pay a lot for him. I paid um, 100 bucks, I believe. So this is just one of those figures, if you want him, you're most likely going to have to pay a pretty hefty amount. Uh, not, you know, that's not always going to be the case if you get lucky. Uh, but probably you're going to pay a lot for him. He is really rare, and most people do want to get a hold of him. Uh, so I was really happy to get him. I really have no regrets. Um, I think he is worth, uh, I think he was worth the hundred bucks. But that's just my opinion. Uh, let's go ahead and look at his box. He's from Ardennes, 1944. Got a great picture of the figure there, posed. And then we got another one on the side with his MP44. Uh, that's uh, the really cool thing about this figure is he does come with two guns. And here's a look at the back. And then inside I do have um, some of his extra equipment in here so um, as I said he does come with the MP44 so he does have the pouches for that with the appropriate clips and then I also have his two stick grenades in there and he also comes with alternate hands so that there's um, one of his other hands there and then he also comes with a um, a medal there or insignia or metal rather my bad uh, I haven't put that on the figure though. Alright, so there's the box. Now let's go ahead and bring out the figure now. Alright, here he is guys. A really awesome FJ figure. So I have him equipped with his F... Uh, FG42. Um, I do prefer this look over the MP44. That's just my preference though. But yeah, overall, a really awesome figure. I think he looks great. His helmet's a little small for his head, but um, I still think it looks uh, really good. Alright, so let's look at the uh, FG42 for starters. And he holds that well in his hands. Okay, here it is up close. Really nice model. Don't see these a whole lot. Um, so it's nice to get one of these in the collection. Um, but yeah, it looks great. I love the, um, the bipod on this. And we got a strap on there, nice and sturdy. Then, of course, the clip. So it looks great. And like I said, he does come with an MP44, so here's a brief look at that. And then here he is holding it. All right, let's take a look at his helmet. Here it is up close. Like I said, it is a little small for his head. Let me uh, try to take this off without breaking anything, of course. Okay, so here it is. You can see the padding inside, very nice. OK, 
Okay, and he does have the, um, oops, lost his knife there, but he does have the uh, scarf on his head. And if we pull that back, get a better look at his head sculpt, his hair. Uh, this is a cool head sculpt. I like this one a lot. He has a very uh, unique face, I think. All right, um, as for his equipment and his uniform, uh, the knife did fall off, but you can hook that onto his, uh, onto his jacket there, or smock, rather. That looks really cool. Okay, so there's that. And uh, he does actually come with a pocket knife as well, which is really interesting. And there is a little uh, tab on this, so if you push it down, you can get the knife to come out and then push it up again and it uh, actually stays in place. Well, at least it should. There we go. Oops. So, cool little accessory there. I've never seen that with a dragon figure before. And he does come with extra boots if you want to change out uh, his boots for these. Nicely detailed. I think I prefer the other ones better though. And I also don't really want to take off the boots because I'm afraid of breaking something. Um, but yeah, uh, moving on, he's got his bandolier, which is actually attached onto his belt, but, um, this is really nice. Um, I think there's an extra clip. Yep, there's an extra clip in there that comes with the figure. You can see his shovel in the front, and in the back we've got just standard uh, German equipment here. Okay, and everything was uh, pretty pretty easy to put together, which was nice. Didn't really have any complications at all. Okay, and here's a better look at his smock. Very nice. And you can see I've got his gloved hands on. And these are bendable. And I definitely prefer those over the regular hands. I think those look really cool. Don't see these a whole lot, so. Okay, there are his pants. You can see his shirt underneath, and then uh, his boots. Alright guys, well, um, oh, and lastly, also the uh, shoulder tabs, which you do have to put on yourself. Um, but besides that, that is everything to show for Erwin. Uh, this is an excellent figure that I do highly recommend picking up if you want to spend the money on him. Um, he is really nice, and you got to keep your eye out <clears throat> if you want to get a hold of him. So uh, He's super rare, so I'm very happy to have him in the collection. Hope you guys enjoyed this review, and as always, I'll see you next time.